Year-round, Wales's coastal towns have a particular charm. But in January 2014, picturesque coastlines were pummeled by high waves and fierce winds. Across North and West Wales, homes and businesses were flooded. In Aberiron, the quay transformed into a lagoon. The whole road was completely flooded. You, you couldn't see that there was a road there, it was just one big lake. By midday, the tide had gone out, the water had retracted, and it was only what was left in the cellar that, that really affected us. We washed down, scrubbed down, and by mid-afternoon, you know, mid we were back trading, which we were, we were very lucky compared to a lot of other businesses that year. As a resident, as a local, and as a businessman, you know, we need to look at these things to reduce, to basically reduce the risk, because it's not something that would happen every day, one suggestion is for a breakwater to be built. The structure would extend into the sea to protect the harbour. Campaigner Nick Sawyer lives within 50 yards of the harbour and says it would have prevented floods. I think for the safety of the community and uh, the safety of, of uh, people in Aberiron, businesses, homes, uh, it's a wonderful place. It's called the Jewel of Cardigan Bay. Um, we all love the town. Uh, why let it sink for the sake of a few million uh, for a simple breakwater, simple science to address um, an, a natural problem. Funding for the breakwater would come from Ceredigion County Council and a grant from the Welsh Government. Now they say they're already working with Ceredigion to explore options for Aberiron, but a local councillor says the breakwater is just the beginning. We have the overtopping on, on the quay here, which um, many say obviously the breakwater will negate. Um, but also we have to defend the town and the project is much bigger than just obviously a breakwater. Why don't Welsh Government, or any government, um, look at an application, particularly regarding flooding of coastal communities. They look at it in a 50-year period, a 100-year period. So we have rising water levels, rising sea levels, and we have to be able to mitigate against that. With sea levels rising slowly, the town and even the harbour side could cope for another 50 to 100 years. Unless there's another big storm. Amina Jan, ITV News.